Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and today I'm doing a review of Putin's, that's right, the Russian, the Russian dictator, Vladimir Putin's wristwatch collection. And uh, he's, uh, he's got quite a collection. He's got a, uh, a Patek Philippe perpetual calendar, a Breguet Marine, Blank Payne Le Mans Aqualung Grand Date, Blank Payne Le Mans Flyback, and uh, these are some of the watches. And uh, look, whether you like Putin or hate him, you've got to hand it to him. This guy here really knows how to, really knows how to uh, wear a wristwatch. And uh, I got to tell you, fuckers, it's really become a big, big disaster. You look at the US presidents and they're such pussies when it comes to wristwatch. You've got Barack Obama who wears a, uh, a watch, a tag hoyer, tag hoyer, that Michelle gave him. And also a, uh, a generic Secret Service watch, which is a piece of shit. You, uh, you had people like Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton who wore... A, uh, when he was in president in office there, he, uh, he wore, what did he wear? He wore a fucking Timex, you know, anti-status, anti-status, anti-matter type watches there. George W. Bush, just, well, they, 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 see, they can't be seen wearing the Rolex. The Rolex is the wrong thing to say, and, uh, this is really sad. I tell you what, I blame Jimmy Carter for this. He's the one who started this conservative, you know, this very fucking, you know, he he's the one who fucking started this bullshit trend of uh, mediocrity. And uh, that fucker, that fucker should have pulled, should have bombed the fuck with that Iran Contra affair. He should have fucking flown in, flown in the fucking aircraft and bombed the fucking shit out of that place. None of this fucking pussy talking and that there it was a fucking mistake and um, you know you go back President Nixon had a president you had such great leaders there I mean JFK always a um, hugely stylish man JFK had Cartier he had a range he had an Amiga he had such wonderful wonderful pieces and uh, Jackie chose him and Marilyn even gave him a day date it's just it's just fucking amazing. It is absolutely amazing stuff. And uh, it's very, very important. Very, very important stuff. It's, uh, I don't know why these world leaders now just have such fucking pieces of shit on their wrist. And, uh, you know, in Australia, Kevin Rudd had the two-tone Omega Constellation. That was very much an upper middle class watch. You had Tony Abbott after him who just had a piece of shit. I believe Malcolm Turnbull's a big Cartier wearer. You know, I try to cringe a bit at that, but uh, yeah, he's a Cartier wearer. And uh, the other, the other fuckers, you know, it's just, just such a shame. The world leaders now, they can't wear Padex. They can't wear Rolex. They want to be seen, you know. So much brand spin, spin, spin. So much fucking spin on this shit here. It's um, it's a shame. It's a shame. But someone like Putin, he's not afraid to wear a fucking expensive wristwatch. It doesn't matter that it's more than a year's salary for even a a. Well, he's a president and he's been the prime minister. He's a prime. He, he's, he, look, he, he's the boss. He's the numbers man. And uh, I tell you one thing for sure, with Putin there, Hillary Clinton can't stand him, so he can't be that bad a guy. And apparently Donald Trump is a huge fan of Putin. So, I mean, hey, these fuckers, we'll see how it goes there. But uh, I really got respect for a leader who doesn't have to have spin, oh, we can't wear Rolex, we can't wear Patek, oh, luxury, upper-end luxury watches we can't do because we don't want to offend the minorities. We don't want to upset the minority fuckers, the losers. We don't want to upset 
the losers. You know, these are the lazy cunts that didn't get that college degree. These are the lazy cunters. These are lazy fucking cunters who need to get a boot. They need to boot up their fucking ass. These cunters, they need a fucking boot up their fucking ass. That's what these cunters need. And that's one thing I love about Putin is that he doesn't need, he's not anyone's man. He wears what he likes. And I gotta tell you the truth. Isn't that kind of cool? in this day and age that you've got a world leader of a superpower, superpower fuckers, who isn't afraid to wear something to reflect his status or position. I mean, it doesn't matter if it was a kickback. They're all fucking kickbacks. You think America is so wonderful? You think America is so wonderful? The land of the free? I mean... No weapons of mass destruction, fuckers. No weapons of mass destruction. And I kind of like Putin, you know. He, he's got the balls to wear these high-end fucking pieces. I mean, that is a cool thing. Surely, surely a world leader should fucking have something nice on his wrist, you know. I mean, fuck me, Dad. What is it? Who has nice stuff now? It's, uh, it, it's just such a shame. The politically correct police, they're all out to swoop. They're all out to swoop on you. Ooh. Can't wear anything expensive. No, no, you can't wear anything expensive because normal people may take offence. Well, fuck off. Just fuck off. That's one thing about Putin. I mean, the numbers are set, numbers are stacked. That is what you want. And uh, if any cunt gives him shit there, you ask, uh, what's that guy who got spiked in London? What, Alexo, what the fuck was his name? You know the one who had that poison dart? That's what fucking happens when you criticise. And uh, it's, it's a nasty world, but I, I really do like these leaders who wear good shit. So, uh... I can't fucking complain about Putin's choice of watches. He's got a nice collection. Good luck to him. Good luck to him. And uh, it's like when he was riding the horse bareback, you know, with no shirt on. You know, it, it, it stirs. It stirs a certain blood in those communist women there. So, uh, fuckers. I really, really think you got to hold, hold it up to Putin. He's got the balls to wear this stuff. Why fucking not? I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Tell me what you miserable, nasty, vicious cunters think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great vid. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.